go over uh, another rule for determining whether your resonance arrows are legal or not. Don't break sigma bonds. You're not allowed to break sigma bonds uh, when you're drawing your electron pushing arrows for resonance. Is this a legal electron pushing arrow for resonance? Well, no, because it would involve breaking the sigma bond. Notice that the tail of this arrow is on the sigma bond. So it means we have to move the electrons out of the sigma bond, which involves breaking the sigma bond. You're not allowed to do that in resonance. So this is illegal. So basically, you can see that what this comes down to is that you cannot have the tail of an arrow on a single bond. You cannot have the tail of an arrow on a single bond when you're drawing electron pushing arrows for resonance. When you're doing resonance structures, you can't have the tail on a single bond. By the way, this is an important difference between the electron pushing arrows for resonance and the electron pushing arrows for reaction mechanisms. Remember that what we're talking about here, um, a lot of the stuff we're talking about is useful if you're doing electron pushing arrows for reaction mechanisms. But not everything that we're saying, that's, it, not everything that's true for resonance applies to reactions. So here's one big thing that applies to resonance but does not apply to reactions. When you're doing resonance, you cannot break sigma bonds. When you're doing a reaction, it's perfectly okay to break sigma bonds. In reactions, it's perfectly okay to break sigma bonds, but when you're drawing resonance structures, you may not break a sigma bond. That means that you may not have the tail on a single bond. But again, if you were doing a reaction mechanism, it would be fine to have the tail on a single bond. I hope that you can see the difference between a reaction and resonance. In a reaction, the starting material is changing into the product. In a reaction, a starting material is changing into a product. Remember that in resonance, there aren't actually any changes that are happening. In resonance, all we're doing is drawing um, different legal pictures of a molecule, and we know that the true picture is a blend of all those various, all those various resonance structures. Is this arrow legal? No, because the tail is on a single bond. You're not allowed to have the tail on a single bond. That's what this means. For resonance, you cannot have the tail on a single bond. That's illegal. Is this legal? Well, it definitely doesn't violate what we learned here, anyway. Uh, the tail here is definitely not on a single bond. Here the tail is coming from the lone pair. Remember that if the tail is coming from a negative charge, we interpret that as coming from a lone pair. So that's perfectly fine. So where can you put the tail of an arrow? In resonance. You can put the tail on a lone pair, or on a negative charge that represents a lone pair, or you can put the tail on a double bond or a triple bond. The one thing you can't do is put the tail of the arrow on a single bond. In resonance, you can put the tail of an arrow on a lone pair, or a negative charge that represents a lone pair, or a double bond, or a triple bond. The one thing you cannot do in resonance is put the tail of an arrow on a single bond. That would involve breaking a sigma bond.